Hey guys, this is Julie. I'm the marketing director with the Clayman Thyroid Center, and I'm joined today by Ronnie. She was a recent patient at the Clayman Thyroid Center and had surgery with us at the hospital for endocrine surgery. And she's going to tell us a little bit about her experience. So welcome, Ronnie. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks, Julie. So before I uh, found out about you guys, about four years ago, I started having some like lumps in my throat and wasn't really sure what was going on. So I saw a doctor and um, he was a doctor at the hospital I work at and he just a general surgeon uh, did some tests everything came back you know normal just normal nodules uh, but I kept telling him I was having trouble breathing and everything and um, he was like well let's just check it again in a few years so uh, here we are fast forward four years later and I'm I can't swallow very well. I'm coughing all the time. I'm having a hard time breathing. Um, can't walk more than a few steps without having to take a break. Mm -hmm. And so I saw a new uh, uh, primary care doctor. She's like, you know what? Let's get you to an ENT and get all this figured out. Mm -hmm. So I went and saw a local ENT and she's as soon as she walked in the room, she heard my voice and she said, um, yeah, you're going to have surgery and I only send people to the claimant center. And I said, OK. I, I was like, well, where is that? She's like, Tampa. I said, OK, we'll do what we need to do to get better. Mm -hmm. So I uh, got in touch with everybody online. Well, she said the referral and then everybody was just it was like email after email, getting everything set up, got everything set up. Uh, got the hotel set up, so I stayed at one of the uh, hotels that you guys partner with. Okay. And that was an amazing experience as well because I was able to not have to worry about driving, which was awesome because mm -hmm. I don't know Tampa because I'm not from the area. Mm -hmm. And so they got me over there. The minute I walked in the door, everybody was just so inviting and just understood that I was nervous because, you know, when you don't know what's going to happen, you're always nervous. And mm -hmm. so... I walked in, they got me registered right away. And my wife was with me and they gave her a band right away. We're like, hey, if you want to go get breakfast, go get breakfast. And and so um, it was amazing. And so got back, did the ultrasound and every step of the way was just people were answering all my questions. And um, Dr. Roy came in and saw me in the ultrasound and she's like, yeah, we're going to do surgery. This is how it's going to go. This is what's going to happen. And um, I, she could tell I was nervous. She's like, don't freak out. Everything's going to be fine. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, kept going through the process, woke up out of anesthesia, you know, in the recovery area. And Dr. Roy was right there again, telling me how everything went, had a picture sitting on the table. And I was like, that was in my neck. And she <laughs> goes, yeah, it was. We removed. And right then I was like, wait, I can breathe. I can breathe a full breath, a deep breath without coughing. Mm -hmm. And I just sat there in the recovery chair and I could see out a window to the trees and everybody was laughing at me. Cause I'm like, you guys don't understand. I can breathe. <laughs> I didn't know I couldn't breathe until now, you know? Yeah. And so, and uh, kept checking up on me. We stayed in the Tampa area for three days yeah. just, you know, to make sure. So we stayed at the hotel and every day they were checking on me. Um, at first I had a little bit of complication with swelling. So right away they got me antibiotics and everything. And ever since then, everything has been great. Like That's I said, cool. I'm living life now and it's, it's amazing. And it's all because of your center. And I, I wrote a really long letter to or email to Dr. Roy and I named everybody that I could remember their names. And I was like, every step of the way was just amazing. Yep. That's, I, I got to read that letter. That was, it was, it was really nice of you to kind of do that and call everybody out. Um, so I know some of this will be like a little bit repetitive, but so I know you mentioned breathing, but tell me mm -hmm. are any other kind of symptoms you were experiencing prior to realizing that this was an issue with your thyroid. Well, as time went on from that four year span, I started having more and more trouble swallowing, like even to drink water. My wife would be like, why are you like so loud drinking, you know? <laughs> and it's like, I don't know, I'm just trying to swallow, okay? Mm -hmm. And, and, but it got to like before surgery to where I could barely even drink water. Mm -hmm. And and so um, it it just I didn't understand how quickly this mass had grown. You know, mm -hmm. thankfully it was benign, mm -hmm. and um, that was uh, also too th their pathology came back really quick. So it's not that fretted waiting days or weeks or months. You know, it was like within two days. I think it was back. 
Yeah, that's wonderful. That's wonderful. I think one of the big things I think with the center is eliminating a lot of that back and forth along the whole process, really, right? So it's exactly it's, um, we hear from a lot of folks that it t t will take them, you know, eight months or something like that to get into C and Endo, um, and mm -hmm. then you know, end up kind of being frustrated with that process and self-referring to us and being able to kind of get treated right away, which is right you know, when you know that something's wrong when you're suffering with symptoms it's it can be hard to do that waiting game and that's what i said to my wife gail i said it was like a one-stop shopping <laughs> everything was just one 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 after another and it was it was just a, such a smooth transition from each phase you mm -hmm. know mm -hmm. which i really enjoyed and and like i said everybody was just so caring and i work in a hospital okay. as hospital security and i see people not always so nice yeah, you know, and and I have to say, every single person I came in contact with was so nice. That's wonderful. That's really great to hear. And so I know you mentioned that you received a referral to the center. Um, mm -hmm. From there, since Tampa wasn't local to you, did you do research? Did you ever consider seeing somebody closer to home, or you know, what was that process like? You know, I trusted my uh, ENT, Dr. Addie Ocean. She was like this. She and she had had surgery as well, she told me. And she's like, I only send people to the best. Mm -hmm. And I was like, well, if you're saying they're the best, I'm going to the best, yeah. you know? Mm -hmm. So then I, I, you know, when I looked up your your site after that, I saw you had the hotels and everything. I was like, well, this is awesome because now I don't have to worry about that aspect of it. So yeah. the shuttle, you guys cover everything that somebody could have to, you know, work out on their own. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I really like that. Yeah, absolutely. And so tell me, you know, how I guess you're feeling now, the fun part. How has it been, you know, <laughs> a month or so after surgery? And, you know, I know you mentioned the breathing better and kind of feeling mm -hmm. you your life back. Um, what, what are you looking forward to doing now that you couldn't do before? Well, I, I just got back to work because I took three weeks off because being security, I was a little nervous. Mm -hmm. So I just got back. This was my first full week and everybody there was like, wow, you have so much more energy you look different we can't keep up with you now walking even my wife said that because we would go walking and we'd have to take breaks and she's like i can't keep up with you can you slow down and i'm like <laughs> i've never heard that from you you know yeah so just that and and being able to eat and uh like the first couple of weeks after surgery everything tasted a little different to me but now like it's like i can actually taste food again and enjoy food mm -hmm. i love cooking and I wasn't enjoying cooking anymore because I couldn't eat it, you know? Mm -hmm. And now it's like, I'm cooking all kinds of recipes. I'm on TikTok every day looking at new recipes. <laughs> I love that too. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. And so I know, you know, I know you also had mentioned um, a little bit about your experience at the hospital. So, mm -hmm. you know, anything else that you can say about that in terms of, um, you know, it's very, obviously it's a very unique place. We only mm -hmm. do in surgery. So parathyroid, thyroid and adrenals only. So it's not, you know, you're not gonna get lumped in with uh, general surgery patients. Um, mm -hmm. You're not going to encounter nurses who specialize in other types of things. It's a very, very streamlined process. Um, so I guess talk to me a little bit about your experience at the hospital um, with the staff, with the doctors, all of that. Just all the staff, like, uh, I think it was Sharon was the first person I met in registration and, and she just walked me through and, she, I had questions on the iPad because I am not tech savvy. And she was like, don't worry, I'll get you through this. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, next was ultrasound. And my wife used to be at MRI tech. And so she was looking at, the, I don't understand ultrasound or any of that, but they were both looking at the pictures and they were like, oh, wow. And I was like, what are you, oh, wow. And, you know, <laughs> and, and, but everybody just like explained everything and, and talked to us in terms where we understood Mm -hmm. and not like above our heads or, or making us feel stupid, you know, because mm -hmm. I've been around people that do that. And it's like, I don't understand what you're saying, but everybody was just so friendly and, and answered any questions I had. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and everybody was just the friendliness of everybody. That's what I enjoyed. And and Dr. Roy, I saw her three times before surgery yeah. and, and, you know, experiences in the past with uh, surgeons and stuff. A lot of times they don't have time to even talk to anybody, it seems like. But she was very caring, came in, answered all my questions, asked several times if I had more questions. Mm -hmm. So it was great. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is. I, you know, I, I have often felt like that, I think, too, with medical experiences. So it is nice mm -hmm. to have heard and like to have the time for you. Like you're not just a number. Right? You know. Yeah, exactly. It, exactly what you said. I'm not just a number. I was a person, a yeah. person with an issue that she wanted to help me with. 
yeah. know? And like I told you, I work at a hosp- local hospital, and I've been spreading your guys' name to everybody. And we have a surgery center. Yeah. But I've been spreading your name like, hey, if you need to go for thyroid, this is where you need to go. Yeah. You know, because yeah. you guys are the best. We appreciate that. That's awesome. We um, of course. need an advocate. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Of course. Well, thank you so much for your time. If there's anything else you'd like to add, you know, feel welcome to, but, um, you know, otherwise we really appreciate you taking the time to do this. I think it'll be really impactful for, you know, potential patients who are kind of checking us out to, to hear directly from you. Mm-hmm. Thank you so much for allowing me to do this. Cause like I said, it was an experience I've never experienced anywhere else in the medical field and can't say enough about you guys. <laughs>